Hello, welcome back to another video. All right, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit more different. Um, so it's been, I've been told over my whole life that I am obese, I'm overweight, fat, just such a fat ass. Um, and lately it's kind of just really been getting to me a lot. I know my boyfriend, uh, he doesn't mind that I'm, I'm a bit bigger. I mean, he says like, no, you're not fat. You're just big boned. But I still see all the fat and the rolls on my tummy and on my back. I see how my thighs jiggle. I'll, I will never be a tiny, thin person. I know. I know that. I've never been tiny. I came out of my mom's stomach a complete butterball. That was what they called me when I was a little kid. A butterball. Because I was just no knees, no ankles, just a whole lot of rolls. But yeah, I've always been a big chunky person so trying to do a video here anyway <laughs> so this video is basically going to be a month-long update every week I will post I will try to post a video of my progress so every Monday Stay tuned for a video because I will be posting an update on how my weight loss journey is going. What I have started doing is I've started to eat a lot more healthy. I, I've never been a pop drinker, so I don't drink pop. Um, candy, I'm not much of a sweets person, so I don't drink candy. Drink candy. I don't eat candy. For me, it's the chips. The popcorn. The butter. I love butter. Butter hates me, but I love butter. Um, so that's where I've started cutting out. I don't. I stop my snacking. If I want a snack, I will grab a piece of fruit. Lately, I've been really into oranges. So, that's a good. I've been drinking a lot more meal supplements or meal substitute substitutors something like that something like that um but they're like they're homemade well it's like protein powder fruit almond milk because i'm lactose intolerant um i do put yogurt in fat-free yogurt which is i think that's the greek yogurt it's nasty stuff, but it's supposed to be good for you. Um, been drinking a lot of green and herbal teas. Um, so right now, what we're gonna do? Is I'm gonna go weigh myself. You guys are gonna come with me. I'm going to hate it. See, having you guys see how much I weigh, but. It's going to be necessary to know how much I weigh for my weight loss journey. So let's go. Okay, so what I did was I put a sports bra on and some spandex shorts. Just so that, you know, I get less, <laughs> less weight um, for the scale. I put the scale in the middle of the hallway. Just because it's a lot easier to deal with there. It's, and it works better on hardwood instead of carpet which is in my bedroom sorry my bedroom is like a mess also I'm very sorry for how my uh, my scale looks my cats like to sit on it after they go to the potty so it's covered in cat litter and it just won't come off I've scrubbed it many times Lysol 
won't get it off. So it's just stained. Anyway, let me step on it now. Here's my scale, my little Renzo scale. Look at it, look at that cat print. All right, my nasty ass feet. Some people would like that, but you know. Okay, 189.2. So it's not as bad as what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be more in the 200 area. So, this, since the 1st of February, I've lost 11 pounds because of eating healthy. I'm just gonna, there's a spider on the wall. I'm just gonna sneak you past it and just open my door just a little bit. All right, so yeah, I got the chub. I'm, she, she's sick. That was my dog. My thighs will never not touch. I am broad shouldered already. Got no muscle there. She all jiggle. She all jiggle. But this is basically what I want to get rid of. Like I'm not terribly fat. <clears throat> but I'm also not terribly I'm also, okay, yeah, I, I am terribly fat. What am I? Rachel, what are you talking about? You are terribly fat. Terribly. I don't know why I'm just staring at myself in the mirror now. I'm pulling my pants back up because that's nasty to look at. But yeah. So every week I'm going to weigh myself on my scale. I'm going to continuously eat healthy. Right now, I have a meal going. Meal that I'm prepping right now. I'm making a beef stew. And it's just packed full of vegetables. And I, I didn't, what I didn't do was it said to cook with olive oil, but I know that's very bad. So I did coconut oil. I substituted it. Instead of frying my onions in butter, I fried my onions in coconut oil. I know it's not as good, but it's, what is this? 100% virgin coconut oil. I just broke my coconut oil. <laughs> oh dear. Just give me one second. And the dog's getting going at her. But yeah, I just broke the lid off of that. My bad. Having a feast there, Lilo? Please don't eat inside the jar. Ugh. Bring this over to the counter. This is what I use. If someone wants to let me know if there's a better thing to use for cooking. Any oil will burn or overheat. Okay, that's not what I want. Um, wait, that's French. Oh, we're not French. Well, you guys might be French, but I'm not French. But this is what I use. Who could tell me like a better substitution instead of coconut oil? Maybe just not frying something maybe just baking it but it's hard to bake a uh onions but so I use coconut oil i heard it's very healthy for you so the dog's just going ham on the floor um yeah any suggestions is greatly appreciated um i want to share this journey with you guys because it does mean a lot to me that I lose some weight. I'm hoping to be 150 pounds, maybe even lower. If I can get lower, that's great. That's that's a healthy weight. Right now, I'm not I'm not healthy. I'm five foot two, 189 pounds. Not healthy. Like I am, I, I myself, picture of health. 
my weight not healthy so I do appreciate like help and suggestions I'm all for it okay I'm back in my room I had to go clean up the oil or my dog would have scarfed it all down whole big jug she would have ate it all you a little peggy <sighs> anyway so that's the video I'm going to post this every Tuesday you'll get an update every Tuesday no today's Monday you'll get an update every Monday sorry um, and again suggestions are well appreciative I'm trying to do better by myself trying to do good for my life I do I am starting to do yoga I go for walks with the dog a lot I do have a gym membership now so I can go to any Planet Fitness that I would like and just use any equipment possible um, so I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys follow me along on my journey. This means a whole lot to me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Wait, shut up. Sorry, the dog upstairs is barking. So she's like, ooh, I need to bark too. Uh, <laughs> Follow me on TikTok as well. Not that I use it a lot, but I could. I might post some updates on TikTok as well throughout the week for my journey. If you guys want to check that out, um, but just remember to always be your best self and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. You should really live by that motto. Anyway, bye guys.